This is the very first video ever recorded of Bigfoot. To this day, people have been studying it and arguing that it's real for a few reasons. One, it can't be a person in a suit because of the way it walks. Two, it's not CGI because it was filmed in 1967. And three, it was found near real Bigfoot tracks that have been cast. Bigfoot believers say all of these things are proof that Bigfoot exists. So I wanted to see why so many people believe in Bigfoot. And more importantly, if all of this evidence is enough to prove that Bigfoot could actually exist. So I wanted to start at Bigfoot's origin, where the first sightings and first video of Bigfoot were taken, Willow Creek. So we're gonna talk to some locals, they have a Bigfoot museum here, then we're gonna try to find the place where the original Bigfoot video was filmed. We're gonna find that spot, maybe, maybe he's still there chilling. So our first stop, I think uh, it makes a lot of sense, is the Bigfoot cannabis store. I'm thinking, who is gonna have Bigfoot sightings? People who are on drugs. Can you make a video about Bigfoot? Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Can I get ready just to start? Well, uh, we couldn't go in there because I'm not 21. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a video documentary about Bigfoot. Do you believe in him? Uh, I think it could could be could a reality. I definitely haven't seen Bigfoot myself. Any any stories or anything? No stories. That's true. You've seen the cage. The Bigfoot cage. Yes, but now is that Bigfoot's cage or is that Bigfoot's cage? I would say it's one of those. Go down to the park. Okay, those guys will be seeing, you know, seeing some colors, and they might be put some stories in those colors. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. So we went to the park and talked to people, but it seemed like the only place we were going to get real information was the Bigfoot Museum. So that's where we headed. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? I'm Eric. Gavin. Gavin, good to meet you. Good to meet you. You guys are going to be shooting up north to see Squatch Fest, is that Yes, right? yes, right. we're excited for that. But you know, there's a historical reference, regardless if it exists or not. You know, there's things that happen. We originally came here to go to the place the Patterson-Gimlin uh, footage right. was taken. Spot. Is it true that that was the first video footage of Bigfoot? <laughs> first uh, video uh, that was shot of a Bigfoot. There's been more since. Yeah, it seems to be like the video that made Bigfoot like really popular. It did, you know. Uh, well, we'll go in the room and we'll just cool. discuss the history, that sort of thing. In 1958, this Bluff Creek area was wilderness. The lumber industry, the lumbermen had, had got permission, listen, we're gonna start logging this area. So these guys were the first. They were gonna go into those woods and they started coming across um, strange footprints. At first they thought they were being hoaxed. Is that, you know, giant humanoid footprints. But these footprints went to areas that if someone's hoaxing us, they can't traverse these areas on stilts or with large feet, number one, or number two. Again, they come back to their equipment that was parked and large pieces of equipment had been moved, you know, thousands of pounds. Yeah. And there was no evidence that these things had been moved mechanically. So we had a friend named Bob Titmus. I'm finding these prints, what do you suggest? And Bob Titmus said, I will show you how to do plaster casts. Ginzoli helped coin the term Bigfoot that day. And moving forward, that was it. People went crazy. For Human foot has a ball and an arch. We push off closer with our metatarsals, uh, closer to the front of the foot. He surmises, uh, he said the gorilla foot's very similar, that the break is further back here for a large uh, mammal. I'm not ever taking off my socks on camera. Um, here's one right here with a good metatarsal break right there. Uh, see, it's further back on the foot. Exactly. And so so this would also kind of disprove the theory that it was like a uh, someone with like a wooden foot because is, they wouldn't be able to get that motion. I wonder how big Shaq's foot was. That's what I was. That's why I asked him. How long is Shaq's? <laughs> oh, that's a weird question. 16 inches long. So like theoretically. Well, I guess it couldn't be human because of the way it was stepping. He said. Uh, so a little further out from Bluff Creek, Al Hodgson calls Roger Patterson, a known Bigfooter. He wants to put together a movie. Gets a phone call. Listen, John Green, to Hinton are down here. They're looking at fresh tracks. You better. Come on down, uh, October 20th, 1967. Uh, and near this little clearing on this block creek right here, and that's when they filmed that 58 second film. It's the number two viewed amateur video in the world. It has never been completely refuted. And every time they enhance it, and they just enhanced it here recently, 2021, they used AI. This video was great and all, but I thought it just looked like a dude in a suit until he explained this. 
It even shows more muscle striation, flexation in the calf, in the legs, trapezius. Uh, one of the steps actually now shows toes. I saw I saw somebody basically analyzing it, like you were yeah. saying, and they said like the most uh, giving thing that it wasn't a person in a costume was how the ankles move. Yep, uh, they walk with a bent knee gait, meaning that as humans walk, we kind of walk out. Yeah. Um, these are described as gliding, and they're always walking with a bent knee. Um, and they're broken down by persons. Uh, Bill Munns, a makeup artist, but he also helped with the uh, uh, Planet of the Apes and other shows. He says, hey, I did not have a suit that would accommodate a human being walking the way it walks. I am sure there's lots of videos out there. I just don't know how credible they are. The more recent the video, the easier it is to just debunk and say, hey, yeah, that is AI. So this video and the feet pics are why people believe in Bigfoot. But what exactly is Bigfoot? A primate that once existed in China, and they found the bones, they found the teeth and the jaw bones, uh, Gigantopithecus blackie, and said this particular species they figured uh, passed away 295,000 years ago when extinct. Um, this fits the bill, eight to nine feet tall, very, very large. And, you know, it, I can't say it exists or not. I can say the phenomenon exists. I can say that there's plausible evidence that supports the possibility. No, this is crazy, though. There's so much history behind this. And, like, we're going to talk to a lot of the people in the next video who, like, basically were, were at the forefront of this. The founding fathers of Bigfoot. We will go to um, some of the popular places around here where Bigfoot was seen. I hope I find Bigfoot and he tries to attack me. I'll put him in a headlock. Because Bigfoot doesn't know about the white monster. So we asked him where the original footage was filmed so we could go and... Yes. Can, can we go there? It, it, the, there's it, gates right now. They, they don't want you in that forest. You know, the roads could be covered in trees or slides, oh. that sort of thing. Uh, just natural this time you're in those, these forests. But before we left, he told us about this mountain where there were a bunch of sightings of Bigfoot that we could go to. All right, so it turns out that guy was correct and we couldn't make it to the actual spot where Bigfoot was seen, unfortunately. I know. I'm as bummed out as you, but we drove a little bit down and we're at a different spot in the creek, which it's not far off. We're still in the area where Bigfoot is seen and we're going to try the strategies to attract Bigfoot here and honestly just search around a little bit. See, honestly, like the biggest score here, we find those, well, find Bigfoot obviously, but realistically we find some giant footprints, which I think that would be pretty crazy. So the creek is just, just this way. So we're going to go down there first. The footage kind of was seen over a creek, so like right over there. We, we'd seen like walking over there. So um, now we were gonna try some strategies that were supposed to attract Bigfoot that apparently many experts have used. And the first one was like if you give him something he doesn't know, he isn't familiar with, like if you leave it out in the forest, you'll come back and it'll be in a slightly different place or even gone. He gave, he set out a spoon and apparently he came back to the forest like the next day or a few hours later and the spoon was moved slightly. So I brought something special that he probably hasn't seen before, an Arab water bottle, the sponsor of today's video. So I'm gonna go set this out overnight, come back in the morning and see if it's in a different spot. So they said to use microphones. So I put one of my expensive microphones on this Arab water bottle and record it overnight. What this does, it literally flavors water through scent. They got these flavor pods. You just pop that bad boy right on there. You just pull it up like this. Oh and then you sip. I'm pretty scared that somebody's gonna steal my air up water bottle. You can buy mics, but can you buy flavor going through your nose? Air up has a ton of flavors. Peach iced tea, ah! strawberry lemongrass, raspberry lemonade. Seriously, thank you, air up. I literally did not have a single water bottle. And I'm gonna put the mic next to it. Go buy an Arab bottle, link in my description. It's all about science when you really think about it. Taste, the smell, through Bigfoot's real, it's all, it's all science, guys. So while we waited to hear the Bigfoot audio, we tried some more strategies. All right, so one of the things the guy at the museum talked a lot about and is just a good way to find Bigfoot is basically but it's looking for like a bunch of snapped trees, twigs and stuff in the area. I thought he meant just like individual ones, but like you can almost kind of see paths. Like, I mean, you can kind of see like right here, like everything's like laying down. Maybe this is where Bigfoot takes his naps. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of stuff that is kind of just laying down and snapped. And I think it's because of, uh, it's been storming. Okay, this is something I didn't know, which is uh, apparently Bigfoot's eyes glow. 
So I shouldn't even need this flashlight. We should honestly be able to look around and see glowing eyes. I don't know. I don't... I've actually... I don't know if that one's true. This, this is just a list of stuff we found on some website. So these probably aren't the most valid. But uh, we got to try them. We got to test everything. So... Uh... So this is uh, this is personally something I wanted to try, which is uh, like so we have this video, literally a Bigfoot walking by this creek, and everybody's trying to say, oh, like a human doesn't walk like that. Uh, that's not how their legs bend and stuff. So my idea was I'm gonna try to recreate that video, like me walking. I I think I can walk like the video. We can get like a comparison video, me walking. Bigfoot walk and put them next to each other. It was kind of just like, okay, so the things they noted, his knees were bent the whole time. Interesting. Also, like, his feet didn't walk like a normal human. I don't know, maybe it's a dude in a costume with scoliosis, or maybe he's just walking here, so he's like, you know, like. That was it. I mean, tell me that's not how he was walking. <laughs> Dude, he was just a nonchalant type of guy. They're doing the Bigfoot walk, man. Bro, you, you try the walk. You try the Bigfoot walk. Bro, this might as well be Bigfoot. The Bigfoot footage. Oh my gosh. I think that's Bigfoot. Actually, I'm doing this. That was like a slightly bit of a joke, but I'm actually curious to put the footage next to each other. Because, okay, we talked to him and it's like, it's like, oh, that's not how a human walks. Well, the thing is, a human can, like, choose to walk differently. They can walk weird on purpose. So I don't know if that argument works with me. So after nothing really working, we went back and got some sleep, letting the air up, bottle, and mic record all night. Well, we, uh, just woke up very early, and we're now gonna go check and see if, one, the air bottle's still there, and there's anything that got recorded any mysterious sounds. All right, we are on our way to see if it's still there. All right, so it is still dark, but it is morning, just really early. It's 5.55 in the morning. Well, we are, uh, we're having a little bit of trouble finding where this pin was that I placed that the water bottle is at, which is not good. All right, I hope we can at least find the spot where this stuff was. All right, I think it's literally just right up here. We did find it. Well, I think we found it. All right, I'm gonna go check, see if it's out there, and see if it moved. And then we will be able to check the audio from overnight and see if we can hear anything weird. It's there. It does not, oh my gosh. It does not look like it has moved. Ouch. And the mic is also here. Although it looks like it has either died or stopped working. All right, so Arab survived, but Mike might have not. What's that tell you about the durability of the Arab water bottle? <laughs> no, but it did not move, so I guess that's not proof for Bigfoot, but we're gonna plug in the mic, see if we can hear any footage. Bro, it was in a completely different spot. Really? No. <laughs> we, the footage might have not worked, but we'll, we're gonna plug it in. Uh, and see, I guess. Well, we waited for the mic to charge to hopefully hear Bigfoot itself. We went to the mountain the guy had told us about, where I had also got pictures of people seeing Bigfoot sent to me by anonymous people, and where we would try the final strategies to catch Bigfoot. All right, we're heading that way. Into the mountains. Branches. Broken branches? What would that be from? Dude, we're about to slip all the way down this mountain. Keep going. I hope none of this is poison ivy. Let me ask my ginger friend, Tommy. <laughs> you said it's like an oval shape with a point? Oval shape with a point. Okay, that okay. looks shockingly similar to what I'm staring at right now. Like, it's not that bad, right? Really not that bad. Bro, I'll grab one right now. I'll put one in my mouth. So we continued to the top of the mountain for our last chance to find Bigfoot. Or, or the best way to like call Bigfoot is the Yeti call. How does Sasquatch call? This is cool. I'm gonna watch this YouTube video. Okay, I got it. Dude, I'm gonna look like an idiot doing this. Woo! 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 
Hey. <laughs> hey. Woo! 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 All right, so the other thing he said, just start whacking the tree. He said, this is how big feet, I, that's how you say plural, right? Big feet communicate. They just like hit trees, I guess. After listening for quite some time, we didn't really hear anything and headed back to the car to finally listen to the audio we got the previous night, the last chance to capture Bigfoot evidence. So we finally listened to the footage and... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I put that in there. This was basically all we picked up the entire night. We didn't hear anything. And if I look at the two pieces of evidence, the video doesn't really sell me, to be honest. I still think it could just be a guy walking weird in a suit. And I did some research, and there was a guy who's been claiming for years that Patterson and Gimlin paid him to be in a suit for the video. And what's crazy about it is a lot of people back him up, and he walks very similar to the video. So then we look at the footprints, which are honestly, a, they are a lot more convincing to me. But I actually don't know enough about them. So I'm going to a Bigfoot festival to talk to legitimate scientists and the smartest Bigfooters there are to see if these footprints could be proof and to see if there is any other proof especially more recent that they have all to see if there's enough evidence to prove that Bigfoot could actually be real.